Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making an alarm using Python in just nine lines of code. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first have to import two libraries. One called date time for getting the date and the time, uh, which is obviously important for an alarm. And the second is called play sound, which is what it is. You play a sound. So the first thing we're going to have to do is import these two libraries. So we're going to write import date time. And on a new line, we can write um, import play sound. But oh wait, there's a red line under play sound. I wonder why. And the reason for this is we actually have to download and install play sound. Um, so we can just write in our terminal here, pip install play sound. Ready? Here we go. Enter. And there it is. It's a really small library. It's only... Here it says 6.0 kilobytes, and there's a, a bit more than that, but it is not a lot of space. It takes like literally three seconds to download, and so now the next line we can obviously write. We're going to write from play sound, import play sound, and so because all we need is that play sound function. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to print the current time to the user. So we can write uh, print, obviously, and then it is, and then we can say, uh, and then we're going to do plus date time dot date time dot today, and then dot strift me. So this is going to print it as a string, and then percent each. So this is just going to get the hour, the current hour. And then we're going to do a colon, because obviously we put a colon between hours and minutes. And then we're going to do the same thing, but just with a percent %m. So daytime.daytime.today dot strift me. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to put a plus there. That's why there's a red line. Uh, strift m, whoa, hold on. Dot strift me, ime. Sorry, strift ime. Strf time. I don't know why I wrote strift me. That was a really weird pronunciation. I'm very sorry. It was uh, strf time. It was f string of the time. I'm very sorry. And percent capital M. And there it is. So that is printing out the current time to the user. We can uh, check this. Let's click on our Python console again. Anyway, here we go. Run main. It is 21:22. It is 9:22 at night right now. Um, so this is going to give us our military time. I'm just going to keep it in military time for these purposes. Um, you can actually write a program it, it, that's pretty simple that can um, uh, convert any time to your normal 1 to 12 time. Um, and you can figure out AM and PM too. I'm going to challenge you guys to do that and let me know in the comments if you were able to do that. So next thing we're going to do is ask the user for what time they want to set their alarm for. So we can do hour equals input, and then we can do, how about, um, what hour should your alarm be raised? By the way, um, you cannot make this run while your computer is shut, um, so I would not recommend using this, because the thing is, you would have to like rewire your computer, like literally break down your computer and remake it um, so that way this could run while your computer was shut down. If you leave your computer open, um, then that's fine. So what hour should your alarm be raised? Um, and, um, and I'll do uh, enter military time, which is just, you know, your normal, your 1 to 24 hours. And then you can do minute equals input. What minute should your alarm be raised. Okay, now now that we have the hour and minute, now we just have to check is the time uh, currently what the minute time uh, is. So we can do uh, we can do a while loop. Uh, let's create a boolean actually. And uh, we can check um, we can call it x equals and we can call it, uh, we can set it to false for now. And then while x 
um, equals 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 false we can do. Um, and then in here we can put hmm why don't we do if our equals equals and then date time dot date time the like same of what we did up there so uh, dot today dot strift me uh, percent h and actually we're going to have to convert this to an integer because of the fact that our is actually going to be uh, an integer as well so that makes everything a lot easier for us oh and let's put an int here too just so that it makes everything a lot easier and it will give the user an error then so here we go uh, let's put... I know I'm kinda of making this up this is actually my first unscripted one I'm trying to figure this out on my own too uh, we can do um, and we can check for the minute as well so and and then minute equals int and then date time dot uh, you know your normal thing uh, date time whoa, whoa equals equals my goodness okay date time dot date time dot today dot strift f time I, I don't remember and then percent in here we can put now finally our last thing and that is just to print alarm raised I can print alarm raised and then we can write in here um, play sound and I have a sound downloaded, so I'm going to put that in. R C colon users. Um, you should download your own thing. Uh, I just have a rooster sound effect downloaded. Um, so let me just add that in there. This is what you have to put in the file location here uh, slash. Or if you want, you can just just for testing purposes, you can just print it out when it's. I hope I don't mess up the spelling. Dot mp3. This should work. Yes. Okay, and then we can do x equals true. And then this will break our while loop. So let's see what happens when we click run. It is currently 2127, so let's write what hour should my alarm be raised. I'm just going to do 21 and then 27. And let's see. What do we get? Oh, sorry, it just turned. Gosh, it just turned uh, 928, so I have to change this again. Here, uh, 21, and then let's do. Whoa, sorry. A 28. Alarm raised. Perfect, so it's working. Oh, I just realized I turned off the audio, but you can see here it says alarm raised, so it is working. And so that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.